The Mercedes S-Class is the German firm's flagship, but how does it feel on the inside? Well, luxurious is one way to sum it up. Admittedly, the launch of the uber-technologically advanced BMW 7 Series does make the S-Class seem a little bit dated now, but all the fundamentals are present and correct. It gets real leather upholstery, unlike lesser Merc models, and expensive-looking trim pieces. This particular car here is even fancier than a standard model on account of its £1,740 Napa leather interior and £1,430 panoramic glass sunroof. Meanwhile, backseat passengers of this long wheelbase model get properly pampered, courtesy of the fourth £1,335 executive rear package, which includes electrically adjustable heated and cooled rear seats and electrically operated blinds. As you would imagine, the S-Class kit standard list is vast and includes the firm's super cosseting air suspension, LED headlamps, electrically adjustable front seats and ambient lighting with seven colour options. Infotainment comes in the form of a huge 12.3-inch display that looks ever so slightly dated compared to the one you get in the new E-Class but it's still high def with crisp graphics. However, it can be a little complicated to use at first, with a bewildering number of menus that take time to get used to. Sadly, the S-Class can't be had with Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto at the moment. That said, the touchpad means you can write in postcodes with your finger. The graphics are also very clear, so is the display from the £880 bird's eye view camera that has lots of detail. The standard stereo is powerful and has a 10GB hard drive, but Mercedes offer two Burmester systems, so the S-Class may not be the technological tour de force that the new BMW 7 Series is, but with its classy trim pieces and minimalist design, it exudes traditional luxury better than any of its rivals. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. And if you click over there, you can watch our detailed practicality, 360 degree passenger ride and full in-depth video review of the Mercedes S-Class. Now, did you know that the 1989 Le Mans winning Mercedes team actually drove the equivalent distance of New York to San Francisco in just 24 hours? Who knew?